Hello, welcome in. Hopefully everything is working. Um, uh, I've been a little bit absent uh, over the last few days. Um, primary reason for that was that I got into a new game, um, which is not Starfield, but it includes ships. And I won't say anything else, but... Um, was a little bit of a distraction from Elite. Um, I, I, I could have used a little break from, from this game as well. So, um, you know, I like to break off every once in a while and, and do something different. Um, so, so that was it. But I'm back. And without much further ado, mm -hmm. as you can see, I'm in the black. Quite literally. I'm landed on uh, this planet right here, if I can um, open the star map, which is one of um, several bookmarked locations that we found last time while searching for an icy moon or icy planet with geysers, because we wanted to test out the jumping into geyser hypothesis, right? Uh, so let me see here. Um, I need some controls, <clears throat> if possible. I've also been quite busy with work. Um, exciting work, to be honest. Um, some unexpected discoveries are related to space, actually. It was work on Earth, but um, interesting and unexpected so um, I spent a few nights also kind of working a little bit late um, like until 8 or something like that uh, working on on these projects <clears throat> but anyway anyway we are here and uh, honestly I don't remember exactly what I need to do but I'll start the music in the background um, in the meantime, so you can have that, something like this, um, and then of course, as always, you tell me if, uh, if it is too loud or not. Um, let me see, am I in the correct place? I think so. Oh, okay, okay. I now, now I remember, now I remember. I haven't played in like five days, four or five days, so I couldn't quite remember what what I needed to scan here. But actually, it's, um, it's these biologicals here. There's a variety. Um, one of the most interesting ones is an Aleoida. So we'll, we'll look for that. And I realized I could have just stayed there. Because I barely scanned them, I didn't sample anything yet. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, let's go with an SRV because we'll need night vision and I don't. Yet. At least. That's definitely one of the goals for when I come back. I want to... <clears throat> I want to... Um, try and find a pre-engineered suit, an Artemis suit, with night vision. Everything else I think I can engineer, but night vision is very, very hard to find. Uh, well, very hard to grind for the engineering. Alioida Arca scanned. Base value 7,252,500. Minimum sample distance 150 meters. So this is the most interesting. First sample scanned. <clears throat> biological here. The Alioida. Relatively easy to find. So that's that's good. I need to travel around a little bit, and one of the issues is that 
Minimum distance reached. Not so great at navigating at night time. over 150 meters from previous sample. Wait. Oh, this is a tussock. They look so similar, especially in the night. Okay, well, we need to find a, an aleoida. I guess these are all tussock. This is the alioid, I think. I will need to need to check. This is the alioid. Anyway, um, I hope that everyone's <coughs> long weekend, if you were in the U.S., went well. Mine was very relaxing, um, I really took advantage of it to rest, um, Second sample scan. Uh, the, the previous week was, um, last week was quite intense, and I really needed some, some rest. Minimum distance reached. Okay. You've traveled over 150 meters from previous sample. This is very handy because there's a um, stratum paleus right here. So we'll scan that one right away. Uh, the only problem with stratum paleus is that it it has a 500 meter. Um, Sample complete. Sampling minimum distance. So that, that takes a little bit. Stratum paleus scan. Base value 1,362,000. Minimum sample distance 500 meters. First sample scan. Enough, but I think there's. Wait, is this? Nope. Minimum distance reached. Nope. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. This one is a stratum belt, so this works. I usually don't do um, exobiology in the dark, but this is. Uh, this is where I was. I didn't really want to change place and it's fun um, Look how how it glows in the dark. I love it And second sample scan Can't remember but somewhere No, these are the this yeah oh there we go you have a flashlight it's not that great though apparently in the year 3000 flashlights work exactly the same there hasn't been much of an improvement but won't complain at least we have one. Oops. Come on, just want to go here. Minimum 
Minimum distance reached. There we go. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. This was fairly easy. You know that big bargain detergent jug is 80% water, right? 80% water? Tide pods are only 12% no, water. I... The rest is pure concentrated oh. cleaning ingredients. Pass me the intercom thing. No, no advertisements, please. I see that one of my tools was not working. It's working now. It is. Let me see. There we go. Uh, did we scan this already? No. Got distracted there and. There we go. Uh, the other one that is here is the tussock. Which is also quite valuable. Um, it's tussock albata. So this is a leoida. Uh, I think this one is a Leroy as well. Can always scan it though. They're very similar. Tussock Alberta scan. No, it is Tussock Alberta. Three million two hundred and fifty-two thousand five hundred. Minimum sample <clears throat> distance two hundred meters. There we go. They it looks almost identical. I guess up close this is like um, or brownish, yellowish. Scan. The other one was bluish, but or better teal. The official variant is was teal for the Aleoida. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 200 meters from previous sample. I, I didn't even do it. This was uh, the SRV becoming self aware here. And enjoying some rolling. Must have hit a rock. Second sample scan. There we go. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 200 it's meters. It's a Leoid, I think. Sample. That one is Tusk. Yep. This is Tusk. Aleoida. The main difference in morphology is that Aleoida has a little bit of a flower, Tusk doesn't have it. That's how I'm distinguishing it, because otherwise the size, the shape is almost identical. Um. Alrighty. Um. Sample complete. Now there's a few. Uh, well, there's a. One of them is. Um, Vesicula and Campestris. Um, the other one is exactly identical to this one. There is absolutely no difference. And so I'll just leave it for the next commander that will swing by. I prefer to 
you know, scan something new. Hello, uh, welcome in, um, you mirror. 2007. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Welcome in. How's your day or night, depending on where you are in the world? We are doing some exploration here on the moon of this gas giant right here. It's quite pretty, except that it's not visible in the sky or anything, I think. Um, and I was just saying how this other moon is basically identical. It has exactly... Oh, no English? That's fine. That's fine. I mean, if you if you speak Italian, I also speak Italian. Other languages, I understand a little bit of French, a little bit of uh, Spanish. Uh, that's about it. Um, maybe some Latin here and there. Probably not much though. Um, so here we have a nice earring, which is interesting. So I want to scan it. Um, probably go. Vertical for a while. Tonight I'm very thirsty. Don't know why, because I've, I've been drinking all night, but um, just drinking water. Just, just to be clear. <laughs> but uh, I keep I keep being thirsty. I guess I didn't drink enough during the day. There we go. Then I think we can remove this from the bookmarks and probably go here next and then here. And then we'll circle back around to do these other systems. Oh, um, subtitles, um, they should be active, um, but let me check. Yeah, they, um, they, they should be active, assuming, um, subtitles as, um, Espanol, um, Estas subtitulos en el, um, I don't know, button, CC. If you press CC, if you preme el button CC, uh, you should have subtitles. I'm sorry, my Spanish is very bad. I can, I can understand some Spanish, um, like if it is spoken slowly, I can read it more or less. Um, but speaking, speaking is is the most difficult part for me. Also, writing, I never even tried writing it, but I'm learning. You mobile, no PC. Um, 
not sure what that means. Oh, you are on mobile. I, I guess. Is that what you mean? Uh, I, I'm not sure if it works on mobile. Um, I know some titles are on... They work on PC, but yeah, I'm not sure about mobile. There might be a button somewhere else. Um, let me check. This is a very good question, actually. Um, the problem is that I'm logged in with my own account. So... If, if there is anyone in chat... Oh, um, I I don't know if there is a translation. Um, yeah, the subtitles I think by default are in Spanish. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if you can change them. Um, let me see. Let me look it up. Give just give me like a minute. Which is some titles in other languages. is old let me see let me I think I found something but um Deep cloaking directly ahead. Cree Cree! Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? How are you? I was just looking um, if there is an option on mobile to change, like to translate the subtitles. Because there are subtitles like closed captions in my stream, but they're only in English. Uh, was asking if if they could be translated in Spanish and I don't know like I, I, I was trying to to find out and it seems like maybe on PC it is possible to translate them but it doesn't look like there is an option on mobile so I, I'm I'm sorry um, um, uh, you Mirv um, about that, I I couldn't find a, a solution for mobile. Um, yeah, like me neither. Um, I know there is some kind of option on on PC, but that's that's as much as I know, unfortunately. Uh, maybe with some third-party apps, um, there is an option. Oh, uh, this. Is Interesting. It's not too bad for a ring. 
there are any overlaps nope guess not just trithium and but anyway anyway how was um how was your stream Krikri? um i was actually following um like a little bit like a couple of hours ago i was finishing some work and then um playing another game uh, while I was waiting on something and um, so I had in the background I didn't say anything in chat but I was there um, and I can prove it because when I logged in um, I uh, you, you guys were talking about I, I mean I don't want to be offensive or anything but you were, guys were talking about lesbians <laughs> Um, I, I I missed the first part of that of the conversation, <laughs> but it was like okay, that's interesting. Um, 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 I think s someone in chat was saying that they never met a certain kind of lesbian. I I won't go into the detail, but you you know what I'm talking about. Um, so that that was a uh, that was an interesting conversation. But I, I was there. I was there. And in the meantime, thank you so much, Odin thirty four seven three, for the follow. Much appreciated. Every follow is one dollar to charity, um, and the current charity is uh, Can Academy, who provides uh, free education for students in need. Um, and thank you, Reaper. Uh, 718 as well for the follow again much appreciated um, but yeah welcome in everyone oh I'm, I'm so sorry I forgot to introduce myself I'm for those who don't know me, I'm, I'm Nozimo, Nozimo. Um, no one really knows how to pronounce um, this name because it, it, I don't even know the people who came up with it. Uh, it's a kind of a long story, but it's a, it's a, it's supposed to be my last name, but it isn't. It's someone who was citing my work in some scientific paper butchered my last name so much that he became Nozimo. I, I mean, it has some letters in common with my last name, but that's about it. It's completely different. And, you know, we started joking between friends about it and then I ended up adopting it uh, in games and, uh, you know, with, with friends as well. Um, so that, that was, um, that's the story behind my, my what nickname he here. And what I'm currently doing, I should probably show you, uh, doing some exploration, exobiology here in this tiny corner of Achilles altar, which is this section of of this arm i forgot what is the name of this arm uh this one is orion uh this one is i don't know i i forgot um anyway anyway um a few a few days ago i was uh, circling around my carrier which is currently stationed here um because I needed to find a planet or a moon that had geysers because I wanted to see what happens if you step into one. Um, turns out it's actually a lot of fun. You you can quite literally shoot into space. Um, and in the meantime, while I was looking for, for such a planet, I ended up finding so many interesting systems that I didn't really want to scan or do anything in them because I didn't know if I would die by stepping into a geyser, right? So I bookmarked all of them and now I'm here doing the actual scanning that is required. Body C3. 
meets mapping criteria. So this system, the, the last system I was in like a few minutes ago, had some biologicals. Um, so that was that was interesting. Um, nothing new, but uh, they were valuable. So I scanned some of them. And here there's a water ward. Uh, there's some high metal contents to scan. So we'll just scan them again. Um, thank you so much, Messi. Is that like three billions? Let me see. Let me count the zeros. Yeah, three billions. Three billions. And welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. Body AB file. Uh, hope you're having a great day or night, depending Body where you AB4. are. Meets mapping criteria. Body AB six. Meets mapping criteria. Okay. Bunch of high metal contents, which is which is interesting. Um, no biologicals, but six planets to map. Uh, some of which are a little bit farther away, but nothing tragic. Uh, don't even know where I am. I think I'm here. So I need to scan A, B, 4, 5, 6, and then a C, 3, 4, 5. So starting from this one, and then this one, well, this one is obvious. It's a binary, but then this one, and then this one, and the outer ones. Okay, here we go. And uh, um, I also forgot to mention, um, sometimes, almost tempted to say usually, but it's not that usual actually, um, I tend to insert some kind of um, scientific content in my streams whenever the opportunity presents itself. Um, I, I, I don't force it, I don't like forcing it, because I also get bored and it's not so interesting. If you if you do it that way, but um, I also happen to be a planetary scientist. Uh, I'm a geologist by formation. Should try to scan this guy first. It's closer. Um, so, if you have questions, curiosities, would like to talk about something that is planetary science or space related or even remotely related i'll i'll be happy to chat about that should have probably used another one here there we go be sufficient Service yep was and uh, I was saying earlier oh oh 
issue first. Loop avoided. That's good. Relatively easy. This one is almost on the opposite side of the system. So, as I was saying earlier, like, I've been thirsty all night. I don't know why, but keep drinking and I specify drinking water <clears throat> most probably because maybe I got a little bit dehydrated during the day it's we are having some very hot and fairly dry days here um, I live in Arizona, it's kind of a desert, so um, very hot days, still very dry. Um, I'm used to continuously drink, but I guess I didn't do that frequently enough today. Hello Matt, how are you? Welcome, welcome back. Hope all is well. How's your... Wait. Um... I forgot if you are in Western US. I seem to remember that you are in Western US, but... Sorry if I... If I misplaced you. Uh, but how's your night or day? So far, at least. Anything excited coming uh, coming up? I for sure have an interesting day tomorrow because um, as I was saying at the very very beginning of the live um, Down in the UK. Yep. Wrong continent. All right. I'll I'll try to memorize it <laughs> um, I, I have a very bad memory you, you probably know by now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cree Cree. Uh, you're way too nice. Way too nice. Th thank you so much. I'm I'm so glad you are. Um, you're having a nice time. Thank you. Um. So uh, this week I was well. I I got into this new game. I won't say anything else about it. It's kind of addicting. It's not Starfield, but, and I'm sincere here. It's really not Starfield. Um, nothing wrong with that, but just not not my thing. I think, at least not right now. But I've also been quite busy with work um, because. I was analyzing some data that they got in the field in Wyoming a few weeks ago when I was there and um, well the data that I knew was there was was good so that's that's good news so I was doing some initial processing you know trying to look at it and that I noticed and then I noticed something interesting and unexpected um, which, on one side, you know, it's one of those things that you didn't expect. Uh, you have to work a little bit more on it. But on the other side, it's it's very interesting. Um, it's um, it's something I did not expect to see, but well, it popped out and. And it's there. So I've been like over the last few nights. Sometimes I've been working until kind of late. Um, 
because there was all this excitement, this hype about uh, <laughs> this kind of data. And tomorrow I'm going to present it to the rest of my team, uh, the research team. Uh, many of them have already seen it, so no surprise, but um, kind of want to get their opinion, so... And plus it's a Friday, so Friday is the best day of the week, uh, of, of the working week, I should say. And after that, I'm also excited about the weekend. Anyway. Let me see what is the path forward here. I'll probably go here and then I guess come back. Kinda circle around. Maybe I'll come back here and go this way. Spiral in a little bit. Actually, oh, you know what? I think... Actually, I think this one is... Um, this one is the geyser. I'm pretty sure. A sublocation, yeah. This is the geyser. So... I don't necessarily need to go back there. Maybe at the end of the stream, do another geyser jump. But first I'm going to solve my data, because, I mean, the landing is easy, but you need to time it. Um, and also, depending on the geyser, I think I can actually be ejected into space. Oh, hello, Fiery. How are you? Welcome in. Doing some uh, planetary scans. Um, some exobiology here and there as well. I'm doing pretty well. I um, was just saying that I'm excited for the Friday and then the following weekend. Uh, this has been it's been a good week. I got into a a new game, which is not Starfield. Um, it's a different game, so that distracted a little bit me a little bit from Elite Dangerous. But here I am back again. Um, sometimes I like to to break uh, from from games a little bit, you know change things up for a few days a little bit but Elite is one of those games that I don't think I'll stop playing anytime soon there's only a few of those games like um, I haven't been playing much in the last year or two but a similar game was Kerbal Space Program I've been playing the game for years. Sometimes, like every single day, I would play and do something. Um, I still have an entire career mode there with a bunch of missions that are halfway through that I want to complete. That was probably excessive, but oh well. Um, doesn't matter as long as I don't exceed the scan um, efficiency bonus limit for some reason I thought it was seven probes required So, are you streaming tonight, Fiery? Or, 
I should probably see um, this afternoon, evening. Tend to forget which time it is for you, but. It must be so it's it's what like it's eight almost eight thirty in Italy whoops oh that's a loop dang um, morning game time plus one oh yes because you're in the UK I keep thinking for some reason that you're in Australia, but you're not in Australia. Oh yeah. Yeah, you are one hour behind Italy. So yeah, plus eight for me. The older gamer, oh yeah. Uh, there's others too. I I know they are in. Um, there's a few in Australia um, that I know of, at least. But again, I mean, I say this all the time because it's true. I have a very bad memory. I kind of wanted to check out this water ward. It does it have color caps? Um, no, no polar caps. Interesting. Must be warm. And then... Wait, oh, C3, okay. Need to go to C3. There we go. This doesn't make any sense. The surface temperature is below freezing. Surface pressure is almost exactly the same as Earth. Um, so water is follows basically the same. You know, it probably has the same freezing and boiling temperature as on Earth with this kind of pressure. And this is below freezing, yet there are no polar caps. That's weird. Um, I was expecting a warm Wonder World. Because wait, it was two sixty eight? Yeah, two sixty eight is negative five Celsius, which is um, twenty three Fahrenheit, I think, for the Americans. Um, so it, it's cold. Yeah, uh, still, still. Yeah, you know, I, I like to make. Come on, fire! You, you know me. Uh, I try to make sense of things. <laughs> Uh, 
seven hours, uh huh. Alright, um, next place is gonna be this one. Which is, hmm, I think there's gonna be some, some water wards there too. This was one of those that I must have accidentally bookmarked, but didn't really have anything of interest. Okay, well, let's go to the next one, which is this guy. I know that there is one with I think this is the one. No, no, this isn't. Uh, this one has biologicals. Oh, this one is the water giant, which is relatively uncommon. I should almost say rare. I know that there is an ammonia ward, this guy. So we are definitely going there as well. And then let's see this other one. Oh this one also has a bunch of interesting stuff. Okay. Let's go to the ammonia ward one first. I think I'll go here, here, and then do, do this one. And there is a good chance I'm gonna find something interesting in the, mean, in the meantime, like along the route. Because there's a few jumps. And I'm also seeing that there's advertisements uh, coming in in about 30 seconds. I I decided to run advertisements every every hour for three minutes. So um, I'll take a break myself to you know stretch out and um, move my legs a little bit. And so. So you don't have to sit through them, but then you get an hour AD free. That seemed to be the best deal for everyone. So let's just go in a little bit of a break and I'll be back in like three, four minutes. See you soon.
Right, everyone should be back from the break. So you can enjoy another hour completely AD free. I should have probably waited. Because, you know, I'm keeping an eye on. Um, on this location uh, tab as well just in case you never know if there are any guardian sites um, not that I expect to see any here um, as far as I know there is no evidence of guardians in this particular region but you just never know just never know also I don't think there are any guardian sites on icy bodies, but again, never know, better be ready for surprises. I also, you know, when when doing the FSS, I I like to wait for the scan to finish. Um, sometimes planets have interesting looks, even if they are not particularly valuable, Argon atmospheric landable with life, or have anything of interest. This one is just as the usual vesicular compestris. Neon atmospheric landable with life. And we'll avoid that one for sure. I'm not doing in bacterium A ACs on neon atmosphere. Usually those are very dark. Body six. Same. Neon atmospheric landable with life. Right. Next. Lots of unexplored systems in this region. And man, this one is a big one. I wasn't expecting it. Damn. 50 bodies. Um, there's bound to be something interesting here. And I think this is also G-type? An F-type, okay, okay. And you can tell already that, or at least I can tell, that this one has some planets and there are some gas giants because there is space in between. Gas giants with moons. Okay. Um, I'll do the gas chains first. 
Uh, this is already an interesting one. Want to scan the icy rings there? Because you just never know. Sometimes there's uh, some nice hot spots combinations that may be good for refueling with Trithium. At some point I'll have to do a um, some Trithium mining. Don't think anytime soon, but I mean if I'm finding a good icy ring with well, maybe with some overlaps um, I may do a little bit not sure if I'm going to stream it because usually mining it tends to be a little bit repetitive um, In the past, I used to just tag along in uh, 2020 stream, who is not streaming tonight, or at least usually doesn't stream on Thursdays. And I, I didn't see him, on, him on, online earlier. But um, if you don't know 2020, um, He is a um, big time streamer, um, uh, I learn a lot from him, still learning a lot from him. Um, he also does a lot of exploration, and biology, some mining here and there, and on um, Friday, no wait sorry, on weekend nights, he has a, um, an all-time radio night, um, so both nights on, on, on weekends, um, he plays some all-time radio shows from all the way back to the 30s and 40s, some of them a little bit more recent, but usually not, not too recent, and... Um, you know, especially when I'm mining, I I just like to do it, you know, off stream and <laughs> basically lurk in his stream and just listen to the shows. It's it's a, it's a very relaxing process, you know. Take it easy, just sit back, relax. Um, He is also one of the big explorers. Um, another one is Fiery. Um, or oh, maybe streaming right now. And um, um, he is currently not too far from here. In fact, um, the first part of my journey in, in this area of the galaxy was to meet with him. Um, he is not sure if he's stealing Kepler's crest or the Ormidine rift. Um, but he's, he's not too far away from where I am. And more interestingly, I should say. Ammonia atmospheric landable with life. We'll have to stop here. Has high and biological here. value. Probably. Body A8F. Ammonia atmospheric landable with life. Um, Has high biological value. So he is out with this carrier, just like I do. In fact, Body A8E. I took inspiration from Ammonia him. Ammonia atmospheric landable with life. Okay. Has high so. biological value. And again. <laughs> Body A eight D. Ammonia atmospheric landable with life. And again. Has high biological value. No, actually, this is just geologicals. So I was saying, um, 
that he he's out with his carrier and along with 16 passengers so 16 other commanders were also joining him in his exploration trip which is um, something you don't you don't see very often at all like you may see something like that during you know expeditions sometimes but this is actually not even an expedition it's just taking a bunch of people with them which is cool and of course I mean if you're nearby like um, you're welcome to to check out his carrier tag along with him he'll be more than happy to Body A seven A to to have you in carbon dioxide atmosphere in his company um, Meet as well as criteria. myself uh, honestly like if you if you want to tag along with some exploration you're more than welcome to System scan complete. to come by and visit uh, carrier is open to everyone I have no fees or anything else so if you need to do repairs or sell some data there's nothing but the basic 25% that the carrier uh, steals from everybody me included but otherwise um, there's no fees and okay so so big system look at look at how many moons So, I was reading somewhere that there is this story, legend, something that talks about a base or some kind of station, something like that, on the eighth moon of a planet. Uh, this one has eight moons, but there is no eighth moon. There's like a a binary system, moon system at the very, very end. So I'm not sure if this counts, but anyway, um, this one is not very interesting. The interesting ones are here. And there is also 7A. So this one should be scanned. Because it's a terraformable rocky. And then these four, they all have a gazillion of biological signals. I'm trying to see if there is repetition, and there is. So these two are identical to each other. These two are almost identical. And same with these. So, I'll go here, and then I'll start to check out the first one, and then go um, to the outer moons and see what is the deal with them. Um, they are a little bit valuable, nothing exceptional, they don't have anything new for me. But there's probably some new, some codex discoveries for this part of the galaxy, for this sector. So I wouldn't mind at the very least to scan them with the composition scanner. And maybe sample a few, like maybe the more valuable ones. Um, 
but for sure I want to scan them. Because at least, like, for myself, speaking personally, um, I like to sample things that I've never seen before. Uh, I like to scan anything that is new to to a particular region. So to get a codex entry, you know, put a check mark like, "Hey, I've seen this." Um, but I'm not too interested in the value. Because um, I mean, I have plenty of credits. I I don't really need it anymore. I'm more interested in the exploration side of things, like discover something new, map something new. There we go. So it's a seven signals and there's eight possibilities uh, Alioida, Bacterium, Conca, Frutex, Fungoida, Osseus, Stratum and Tussock Usually when one of them needs to be missing it's either the Alioida or the Conca but there are exceptions to that um, I'm going to say the one missing, usually it's the Conca, uh, more than the Alioida. Which would be a pity because it is the, if the Alioida is missing, it would be a pity because the first one is the only one that might have it. The other ones for sure don't. Uh, the conca is a conca aureolus, and it could be either grey or green, depending on the moon. Um, so nothing, nothing too special, but still, uh, it's uh, it's actually the most valuable one. So I wouldn't mind scanning it, but or like sampling it, but it's it's not particularly rare, honestly. this game so much like some of these views like might be I don't know simple but they are so cool I don't know this game has some kind of appeal to me that is, is unique and just the fact that any of these stars like is a place you can visit like quite literally you can aim at one of those and eventually you can reach it some of them are close by some others require a lot more traveling but you can go anywhere like if you want to go to the star you can you, you can visit it, and if it has planets, you can... Sometimes you can land on them. Body AHC has high biological value. Now, this is interesting. Um, because the missing one is Fungoida. I was not expecting that, so... I need to take some notes and besides writing down that 
Pongoida is the missing one this time. Um, not sure if I've ever seen this happen before. Um, I need to check which ones are where. So Aleoida is everywhere. Which is kind of typical. Um, okay. And then Stratum. No surprises here. Fratex is also everywhere. Suck. Okay. Okay, this is relatively easy, I think. Because I think I can just go to the Conca. Um, and... And I think I can find everything in the same place. If not, maybe just outside the... You know, usually Conca likes to live in depressions. Or canyons. And usually you find everything else there. Or if not within the same depression or canyon, just outside of it. Like here, for example, this is an impact crater. Right, and classic low spot for Conca. And maybe you won't find everything inside the crater, but just outside of it should be everything else. Should be a relatively straightforward process. And this also means that I may actually be scanning everything, like sampling everything. Not just scanning. Because I was a little bit afraid of the Fungoida. Fungoida and Frutexa sometimes are painful. But I think uh, I'm going to be just fine. I was expecting to see a little bit more, honestly. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just go here. Yeah, there it is. Classic hiding spot for Conca. Conca Aureola scan. Base value 7,774,700, minimum sample distance 150 meters. This is Aleoida, I think. Chenchi, by the way, it was rendering. Brutexa flabellum scan. Base value 1,808,900. Minimum sample distance 150 meters.
Oh, pretty well, pretty well fiery. Um, already found the Frutexa and Conca. And just trying to see if there is anything else before I land and um, take out the SRV. Doesn't look like there is anything else in inside the crater, though. Um, and I don't see any more Frutex here, which means that the previous spot was a little bit better. First sample scan. Exaflabellum. Green. Yeah, tends a little bit green there. Nice thing about Frutexa is that the minimum distance is only under 50 meters. So this outcrop is probably good enough. Minimum distance reached. Yep. It is. You've traveled over 150 meters from previous sample. Second sample scan. I could probably just jump around on foot, honestly, but... Minimum distance reached. I like driving. You've traveled over 150 meters from previous sample.
there. I thought I saw something there, but it was just an impression, I guess. Like something moving, I was like, what? Maybe it was a little cloud of dust. This one has like, um, I'm not sure if these are flowers or seed pods sample complete like this is the small version right here this is the the larger version like i guess mature like full size kind of look like cups like very open structure cups anyway Next one is Conca and it was down there. Some right there, or no, wait, that is just for Texa. Yeah, this is still for Texa. See, like there are these thin clouds of dust another one here was probably what I saw moving whoops I mean Italian driving is in the title right so there needs to be some in the stream Otherwise, I'm just pretending. Scan. Conca is also another one that only requires 150 meters between samples. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 150 meters from previous sample. I think I'll jump here. Take advantage of the low gravity. If I don't hurt myself.
second sample scan. Okay, areolas always look like uh, it has been sliced and dissected. And then there's uh, some like modern art flowers growing out of it. So weird. Like, look at this structure. There's like three stems and each one basically makes up like a ring and then another one and then another one again. Except this one is only made of two of the stems. Not even sure if there is like a a counterpart for this on Earth. So cool. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 150 meters from previous sample. Sample complete. Yeah. Look how high I can jump with just one boost. I mean, I have this suit as jump assist, which helps, but. I like low gravity planets for this. On this case, it's a moon. But you know what I mean. You know what? You know what? Oh. I'm just going to recall the ship because it's not there anymore. Otherwise, I would have just. You know, um, send it out and then recall it again. closest um, edge rim of the crater is this one. Should be good enough already. Oh yeah, look at this. 
<laughs> everything. Only one spot. There's a uh, Palias. Stratum Palias scan. There's the Leoida. Minimum sample distance five hundred. This is the Tassok. Aleoida speaker scan. And three million three hundred and eighty-five thousand two hundred. Minimum sample distance one hundred. Maybe with a little bit of luck. Tussock Divisa scan. Base value one million seven hundred and sixty-six thousand six hundred. Minimum sample distance two hundred meters. Maybe we'll also find the Osseus spiralis. Osseus likes to live on these like rocky hills. Anyway, we will start mapping and then oops or better scanning. Don't really map these things out. But well you get the idea. You know what I meant. First sample scanned. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 150 meters from previous sample. Second sample scanned. The only thing I don't like about the scarab is that low gravity it has no control. It's actually kind of painful to drive. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 150 meters from previous sample. Oh, there we go. Nope, too close. Okay. Let's just go here. Sample complete. First sample scan.
Minimum distance reached. The one you might have been over 500 meters from previous sample. Far away now. Almost looks like Alioid and Peleus like to live in the same place. As if there was some kind of symbiosis between the two. Oh, okay. I'm starting to worry about the black screen of death. Sometimes it happens. Second sample scan. Bacterium Alcyonium scan. Base value 1,658,500. Minimum sample distance 500 meters. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. Perfect. Because next is the tussock. complete. First sample scan. against an alioid. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled oh, over two hundred meters from previous sample. Second sample scan. This is a more adult plant compared to the previous one. It has these different leaves. Same You've field of over 200 meters from previous sample. Same field of tussock. <laughs> we are already far away enough. Um, there, is, there isn't much left to do. I'll do the bacterium because I found one, and I'll see if we we can find Spotenosius. Don't necessarily need to sample it, but it would be nice to a very the very least scan it.
Uh, the question is, can I find it again? I remember it was down here somewhere. There. There it is. There's another one down there. to drive straight if possible can I <laughs> maybe I should have taken out the, the scorpion instead It's slower and doesn't really jump, but it has so, so much better handling. First sample scan. I think it was down here. See, I, I can't even drive straight. Like the first hill it encounters, it just wants to go wherever it wants. Yeah, right there. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. don't have that much trouble with this carb well you're not driving so recklessly <laughs> that's probably why you don't drive so fast probably too Drive assist on and keep the speed low. Oh, yeah, that explains it. <laughs> exactly the opposite. Actually, for me, drive drive assist was even worse. Um, but the speed, no, the speed needs to be maximum. Maximum speed, big jumps. Minimum distance reached. You've traveled over 500 meters from previous sample. Drive for the conditions, well. The condition is that this SRV is Ferrari red, so I need to drive it like a Ferrari if possible. some advertisements crush it every five seconds yeah kind of <laughs> um for some advertisements coming in in a few seconds so i will just 
you know, take a look around, find the next bacterium. See, I also drive the um, the ship recklessly, but that's that's for shields or for. Um, so yeah, I'll finish scanning this and then I'll take a three-minute break. Also, hi FSD. Welcome in. Welcome in. Pedal to the metal. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's the way to go. Sample complete. All right. Taking a break right now. Alrighty, everyone should be back. <laughs> should probably take it a little bit slower to make sure I leave enough time for the Osseus to spawn. Um, no, 
that's just an Aleoida or Protexa. This is a Protexa, yeah. So how's your morning so far, FSD? Everything good? So bad, just working. All right. Uh huh. There it is. No. Oh, like okay. From the distance. It, it kind of looked like, you know, like a, a spiralis from the side. Take it easy Friday. That's the best kind of Friday. Um, well, could be better though, honestly. Uh, like the in holiday Friday, that would be even better, I guess. But if it is a working Friday, it's probably the best kind of Friday. I have a similar Friday lined up for tomorrow as well, which is actually today. Because right now it's already Friday even here. In fact, I, I should probably go to bed, but <laughs> not really too tired, so I think I'll continue for a little bit. At the very least, I want to find that osseous and scan that system with the, with the Ammonia Ward. That's for sure. wanted to scan that in and check it out like since Saturday basically hmm um, osseous seems to be um, is a parecido as usual actually this is very typical of osseous I, usually I don't have this much trouble finding it like on these rocky hills and crests maybe I should just change region that sometimes solves it you know what, I'll check this hill and if I don't find it here, I'll just jump a little bit further away. We are playing ships. Those kind of ships. Uh, yeah. Probably too much. Probably too much. That game is, addi is addicting. 
extremely dangerous extremely dangerous um, 2020 warned me but aha aha I think that is the osseous it is the osseous it is the osseous yeah Arceus Spiralis Scan. Base value 2,404,700. Minimum sample distance 800 meters. I mean, it is fun. It's a very fun game. At least for me. I'm always like, eh, one more. I just want to do one more. Alright, um, I. I know this is gonna hurt um, Fiery's heart, so hopefully he's not listening. Uh, I'm not gonna sample the osseous. I'm happy with just scanning it and considering that the other moons are almost identical if not completely identical I'll just scan one of them to make sure there isn't anything new okay mostly to check that there is no fungoida um, And if so, I'm ready to think jump to the next system. Let me see. I could map this out. see what is um, you know what I'll just go to the other moon instead which I think is closer nope same deal a um, little bit better geometry though Don't have to come so close to the gas giant. She is really cold, by the way. Of course, completely hidden from view. Ah, too late. Oops. No, too fast. This is already a loop. Come on, slow down. Not going this fast. There we go. Very yellow moon. Surface scanned by fifty percent. Body AAE. Surface scan complete. Has high biological value. It has fungoida. All right. Let's see if I can find it. 
the rest is identical so I won't bother with that This one is Fungoido, which was missing from the previous one. Too fast. There we go. Classic mountains. That's where Fungoida likes to live. Is that an osseous? He's an osseous, I think. Yeah. Arceus spiralis scan. Well, if osseous is more common here, I'm going to sample it here. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at this. Plenty of osseous. So the question is, he's from Goida here as well, and if so, where is it hiding? Thank you for the lurk, Fiery. Tassock should be exactly the same. Yeah, Tassock yellow, Tassock divisa yellow. Tassock divisa scan. Base value one million seven hundred and sixty-six thousand six hundred. Minimum sample distance two hundred meters. Hmm. I'm finding everything except. Fungoida. Kind of a classic. So you know what? I'm just going to start sampling the the osseous. Whenever I can find a place to land.
Eh, too tiny. There we go. Big one too. First sample scan. Gorgeous color. Minimum distance reach. You've traveled over 800 meters from previous sampling. There we go. I think I have a little bit of an allergy. My my nose is incredibly itchy right here. <laughs> like around the nostril. However I know that if I scratch it, it's gonna get worse probably. Must resist. Or if I can't resist, like just very gently scratch. Not to make Second it worse. Always reminds me. Okay, uh, there's there's some Italian culture here to share. Um, let me see if I can find it. 
Ah, see? Damn it. I'm doing it. Like subconsciously. Um. So. Sud della Svizzera. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Not too fast. Not too fast. Um. No, wait, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. Um. So this is going to be in Italian. Um, maybe, you know what, I'll see if I can do French. No. Um, okay. I it doesn't really matter what what they say it's mostly what they do what what these guys does like when I, when i had this irresistible scratching santa polenta di biganello this is very old show infettive. il signor rezzonico è ricoverato per una gravissima forma di treponema pungiforme che in alcune zone dei grigioni è volgarmente detto morbillo the, the Okay, these subtitles, I'm going to turn them off because they don't make any sense. But he has measles. I think it's measles. The, the one where you have the red dots and they, they, they hitch a lot, right? Ferma lì, non grattare, eh? Ti ho visto, mettiti giù, mettiti giù. C'è il prurito ma si resiste. Ferma lì, mettiti giù. Il prurito che... Guarda... Uh, basically he's saying like like hey like stop stop there stop there like he's trying to command his own hand right he's like must resist the hitch i'm gonna show it to you again che in alcune zone dei grigioni è volgarmente detto morbillo Ferma lì, non grattare, eh, ti ho visto, mettiti giù, mettiti giù, c'è il prurito ma si resiste, ferma lì, mettiti giù, il prurito che... Um, this, is, this is a comedian, he's part of a trio called Aldo Giovanni e Giacomo, he's Giovanni, um, some of the best Italian um, um, comedians ever. All right. Italian culture parenthesis closed. Yeah, every time I have a hitch, that's what I like. I start to scratch. Yeah. That's the that scene comes to mind. That's a very old show. Like that one must have been from the nineties. So like. Um, 25 years ago, something like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yep. Oh, maybe here. Can I land here? Come on. I 
I wish I had the eagle here. You know what? After scanning this system and the next one with the ammonia ward, I'm gonna get the eagle. For these things, is so much better. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just go to a different one. Like down there, maybe. Or maybe here. Do we have a chance here? I kind of wanted to land on it. There we go. Too bad it's dusty. Why is it bad? It look even, even better. See if I can find Fungoida and give it like five minutes. If by eight ten game time I haven't found it, I'm ah, there you go. Just had to to say it. Fungoida Sephysis scan. All right. Base value 1,670,100, uh, minimum sample distance 300 meters. No, it's not worth it. I was tempted to start scanning it, but not even sure those were far away enough. Uh, 
No, I guess I forgot to scan that IC ring. Not important though. Okay, I think here I scanned everything already. I just need to map all of these. So here we go. Shouldn't take too long. And then I'll probably go back to the carrier and call it a night because I need to try and get some sleep before tomorrow. So just remember that I need to prepare need to start preparing the lunch for tomorrow as well need to marinate some salmon Must resist the hitch. Body six meets mapping criteria. Uh, I know. That's why I mapped it.
Water Ward. And which is exactly behind me. 47. And then. Meets mapping criteria. Uh, this. The Ammonia Ward is even farther away, so. Well. It would be like a minute or two to travel to them. In the meantime, see if I need to clean up some waypoints. We're already going there, this is obvious. Uh, too bad this is not landable. Would have been so cool to land um, and have the Harmonia Ward inside. Oh well, can't have everything. Um, Let me see. Oh, uh, here are these ones. Uh, I did map that guy. Check. Okay, I'm not crashing into anything. It's good. Is this one another one with bias? Um, nope. Just planets to scan. Interesting system, like double binary. You don't see that too often. This is a very uniform, like, completely cloudless water ward. I uh, should probably add another one. There you go. Just to be safe. Then, the last one. Which is also probably the prettiest. Body nine meets mapping criteria. Oh yeah. Oh yes, it does.
Now, this is cool because not only it's in a Monia world, but it has a a polar ice cap or wait, what looks like an ice cap. Body turn. Meets mapping criteria. And of course it has cloud systems and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if I can take a picture. These are uncommon enough that whenever I find one I, I like to take a picture. Once I found a ringed Ammonia War that um, was just gorgeous. There we go. Well, while you admire that one, um, it is a pretty one. Monias are your favorite? They are among my favorite. Um, sometimes I just really appreciate, you know, those deep blue gas giants that you find sometimes. Um, those, those can be even prettier, but, you know, of course, uh, personal preference. Let's see if I can find the ranked um, the ranked ammonia ward. Problem is that I need to dig all through all of these screenshots. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, there's just too many to to go through. Must be then somewhere. Also, I need to be careful not to crash into the planet because bad things happen. Coffee and chocolate browns. <laughs> now you make me crave chocolate and coffee. Which are two of my favorite things. <laughs> um, Alrighty, so... Um, I'll spare you the trip to... Uh, to go back to my carrier. Nothing, nothing too special about that, but... Um, I see the fiery is is on, so it just seems to be like the a natural continuation of the exploration. You just go and visit him, so that's that's where the raid will go. I'd like to uh, thank everyone for the follows um, while I was online. Uh, these past few days, a Sunshine Faith. I don't know if you are online or not, but thank you for the follow. Manu Stream, who is an Italian streamer. Um, if you are curious about Italian streamers, um, um, he, is, he is one of them. Um, and then, of course, thank you so much, Cree Cree, and everyone who came in with the raid um, always appreciated thank you so much for sticking around as well and then Odin Reaper, Messi uh, thank you also for, for all the follows 
Um, thank you everyone for lurking, for chatting with me, and I hope to see you soon, um, either in this stream or in some friendly streams. I'll see you one of the next few days. Bye bye.